and welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you some cookies inspired in the most weighted and wanted vaccine. The other day I was watching TV and I heard a doctor talking about how important it is to stay positive and relaxed when you are going to get the vaccine and also that will help the vaccine to act faster in your body. And then I googled the name of the doctor and I found the information and I'm going to read a little bit for you. While we wait for our turn to get vaccinated against SARS-CoV-2, we could and probably should use the time to make sure we bring our healthiest emotional and physical selves to the treatment. A new review of previous research suggests Ohio State University researchers review 49 vaccine studies in humans dating back 30 years that document how stress, depression, and poor health behaviors can negatively affect the body's immune response to vaccination and how improving health factors can enhance that response. And in this article, they share five tips of how we can do it. First is manage stress through exercise and mindfulness meditation, get enough sleep, quit or curb tobacco use, improve our diets, and seek professional help for depression. According to previous research, a range of interventions may help us to get the most out of the COVID-19 vaccine massage and expressive writing for stress management, short and long-term physical activity, including 25 minutes of arm exercise before the injection, and nutritional supplementation all help increase antibody response or reduce side effects in past studies. The evidence suggests that making these changes, even in the short term, right around the time of vaccination, could influence how our bodies respond. The time to act is now, before most of us have received COVID-19 vaccines to help make the vaccine as effective as possible and its protection lasts as long as possible. And also, I'm going to leave you a link in the description box below so you can read the four articles. These things are very, very important. And when I heard that, the idea to make this vaccine and syringe cookies came to my mind and I hope that you really like them. And for now, I hope that this video will inject a little bit of positivity, hope and kindness into your heart, okay? So I'm super excited to share this tutorial with you and let's get started. First, I am going to tell you how I did the Be Hopeful vaccine. And for this cookie, I used a little bit of silver luster dust navy blue magic consistency icing in a tipless decorating bag, sweet sticks in rainbow color, and edible markers. First, I started by baking my cookies and preparing my magic consistency icing. I am going to cover my cookies with magic consistency icing and I'm gonna let them dry completely. Once they are dry, I am going to put a little line of the Magic Consistency Icing in navy blue and also I put a little bit of the silver dust in the top of the cookie. For this syringe, I use a little bit of black icing that I have in a pastry bag with the decorating tube number one and I outlined the syringe as it shows in the video. Then I prepare my sweet sticks by adding some drops of water and letting them sit for one minute. And then with a fine brush I start making little rainbows. And I did the same thing for the other cookie. Then I made some final touches with a fine tip edible marker in black. For the Be Kind cookies I used the silver luster dust, pink magic consistency icing that I put in a pastry bag with the decorating tip number one. I also used the navy blue magic consistency icing with a tipless pastry bag. 
I use hard sprinkles, you can use mini or big ones, and edible markers. For the big kind cookies, I made almost the same thing that I did with the other cookies, but before letting them dry completely, I add mini hard sprinkles and also some big hard sprinkles. And then I let them dry completely. For this cookie, I'm gonna use an edible marker. I love these edible markers because they have double point so you can use them in two different ways and then I use a little bit of the pink magic consistency icing that I put in a pastry bag with the decorating tip number one to write the name Be Kind. But if you don't want to use royal icing, you can use an edible marker too. And for the Be Positive cookie, I use the same silver, luster dust and edible markers. For this cookie, I started by covering the cookies and let them dry completely. And I use edible markers to decorate these cookies. Now let's put a lot of positive signs everywhere. I am going to start also making the positive signs. Okay guys, as you see, you can make cookies in very different ways and using different kinds of things and it will depend how much time you want to spend on your cookies. Obviously, using edible markers will save you a lot of time and your cookies are always going to look very nice. Okay guys, this is it for today. I hope that this tutorial inspired you and inject a little bit of positivity, hope and kindness as I told you in the beginning. I think so that this is very, very important. Now that everybody is having a hard time with the pandemic and all the weather related events that are being happening everywhere. And I hope that you all are safe. And if you can help in any way in your community, please do so, okay guys? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel push the notification button, leave me any comment, question or suggestion, follow me on Pinterest and don't forget to be always very very creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating. See you also next time. Bye bye!